What's up, YouTube? Constant Gamer here, and today we are doing a speed run of the Seaport Strip map in uh, uh, Jack X Combat Racing. I honestly forgot the name of the uh, of it for a minute there. I'm gonna do the street grinder. Why not? I think the Javelin X is the fastest vehicle for this, but I kind of want to test something out. Go for it, boys and girls. Which is, I want to see how fast or how much of a difference this game makes. Like, I want to see, um, like, how quick I can actually be in this vehicle compared to my other vehicle. Okay, that, that kind of would have helped a bit if I didn't already fuck it up. Let's, let's just, let's just restart. It's not worth it. We've got a green light! Oh my god. I hate this game. So I'm trying to like, stay, like, you know, silent by the way, just because then I know I can focus on the on the speed run at hand instead of it just being me trying my damnedest to accomplish like the unobtainable essentially so i gotta hit this though straight on uh, that or correct myself right after i land because this game has a funny thing about like uh about drifting right where it's like if you jump off the surface as soon as you land if you start turning as soon as you land you'll drift no reason, you just will. So fuck you, you're gonna drift. I'm assuming I'm in the Javelin X for that. Um, for that, uh, my time trial here. But I am still keeping ahead of myself pretty well. Like, with this vehicle, so I might stick with this. However, I do believe, if I remember the speedrun correctly, I do believe Javelin X is the faster vehicle. It's just I'm picking this because I did do a run of Javelin X just a second ago, and I just could not PB for the life of me, so I'm wondering if I, I can pull it off in this vehicle instead. I don't see why I would if Javelin X is supposed to be the fastest car in the game, but like I kind of want to find out just to see how if I can. And if I don't, how close can I get? Honestly, I'm doing pretty good, though. But now that I say that, I'm going to fuck up. Because that's just my luck, right? I fuck up right when the getting gets good. There we go! PB'd, baby! By how much? Woo! Point five. Let's fucking go. You know what? I'm going to see if I can do it again. I'm going to see if I can PB by another point five. That would actually go hard if I could pull it off. Probably not, though, but I'm going to try. Ooh, that turn was tighter. Oh, I might pull, my, pull it off, but by just barely anything. Or I might fuck it up. Oh, I got that extra boost that I didn't get on my first go. Oh, hell yeah. I might PB again. Not by much, though. Definitely probably not by a whole half of a second. But um, but that would be interesting to see if I could PB. So I think the current record's like a 113 or some crazy shit. Like something that's probably absolutely or, or absolutely unobtainable by like my gaming standards, which are I'm bad. So like what I'm wondering here is... I only hit two that time. It's fine. That should still carry me pretty good. Um, but yeah, so what I'm wondering, though, is how... I 
uh, how much I can actually PB again by if I can manage to pull it off. So you want to nick that by just barely anything. I always get scared whenever I lose boost because I feel like I lose boost and then I'm fucked. Like that's instantly my thought is like, oh my god, I'm going to have to restart. But then I remember there is a one second grace period between when the boost runs out and when like, like between, yeah, whenever your boost runs out. You may slow down after the boost runs out, of course, because that makes sense. But there will be a Winter one second ball. grace period before that happens. Also, another point four shaved off, baby. I'm almost a second faster. Almost. But that was like flawless on my part. How much time we got? Okay. We got enough. I can do one more run. One more. Oh my. Also, having Ready, the outside, go. I think, might be the advantage here, really, to be honest. I, I like, honestly, I, ha I have a strong feeling that having the inside is better. Ooh, that was tight. Not as tight as it could be, but it, it's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, I'm going to cut this real close. Oh, shouldn't I cut that close like I did? Okay, actually, actually, though. I should have hit that one on that inside because I know I have the time to hit it. Okay, hold on. Let's retry that because A, I want to try a little method out. B, I actually just want to see if I can do it. That was not tight at all. That was, that was dirty. That was loose, like my butthole, man. I was like, my butthole loose. And that's when you know it's too loose. Like, my butthole is like better. My butthole's tighter than that, dude. Here we go. This is the method I wanted to try to see if I could hit, there we go. I wanted to see if I could hit that and still get away with it. And I could. So that means if I do that, there's a possibility I can use that as my next route. Uh, if I do a bit of practicing, and I can probably PB again because of that small little change. The question is, by how much though? Because that's the thing about speedrunning, you know? It, it's like, I can Im I know I can improve my time. By how much though? How much can I improve my time by? I missed one. I try to get at least two every time with that, because there's a way you can hit the hitboxes. That's why in some of these, I'm like not even close to it and still it counts. Is because the hitbox for this is like, or the hitboxes for these are a lot larger than you think. So like due to that, you have way more wiggle room when it comes to picking these up. I just try to hit them at an angle to pick up as many as possible. And the reason for that is, of course, the more you pick up, the more opportunity you have to boost, which means the more you're getting accomplished. I'm probably gonna start switching to going on the inside once I get to this point, like at that first set of boosts probably what I'm going to start doing to save a tiny bit more time. Not by much, though, but a tiny bit. But yeah, you know, see, I like speedrunning. I'm just not good at it. And I don't like learning... I don't like learning glitches. I just really don't want to. I'd like to to do better, but, like, I don't really actually want to otherwise. In the bag. How much? Oh, baby! Point? Wait. Ah, it's another, like, half second. Let's fucking go. I'm actually just getting better. I'm, I'm literally getting better. You guys think I can do it again? I'm gonna do it again. All right. Last one. I swear. I'm getting hyped now. I'm getting hyped now because the, this is the most improvement I've made towards actually, like, getting close to the record. Which I'm nowhere near, by the way. Uh, since the record's like 113 or some shit. It's, it's like crazy fucking fast. It's actually like inhumanly fast. Oh my god. Bruh. That's, that's no Wait excuse. This vehicle drifts so bad. The handling on all these vehicles is garbage. I thought it was just one that was bad. No, they're all like this. 
where if you hit a jump, if you start turning before the car is fully landed, you will drift. That is a guarantee. See how I moved a bit to the side there? I didn't even move the left stick. The car does it on its own. It just moves to the left a bit. It's actually fucking hard uh, to do. Ooh, that almost fucked me. All right, it's fine, it's fine. I might get another, unless I can like lose myself and get like really far in front of my 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 predecessor here. Unless I can do that, like I'm, I have a small feeling it's probably only gonna be like a point one or something improvement. Um, I will have to check the recording though to see my overall improvement on this track, like within this video. And if you guys want to see a follow up, I will indeed like my next speedrunning video i will do a follow-up on this same with resident evil 7 i forgot to mention that in that video that if you guys want to do see like a follow-up to like me uh doing that to see like if i've made any improvements on my time i mean i'm totally down like to if it gives me an excuse to like continue running these games or at least attempting to run these games for a bit that's super epic you know i'm totally fine with that Okay, this is where I'm going to start cutting inwards because it'll probably save me a tiny bit more time. Not as much as you might think, but it'll probably save me some more time. I missed that. That might be a downfall right there. It's all about being quick. Fast. You gotta be like Lightning McQueen in this bitch. Those are a bit too far apart. You won't hit both of those in one go unless you, like, do a power slide, which is this game's equivalent of drifting. There we go. How much? Oh, wait, shit. Hit back. 0.7? I almost did a whole ass second on that. Oh my god. We're out here balling. All right, kids. So with that, my current record sitting out 202.12. Uh, I am going to, like, you know, show... Actually, let me watch the recording back real quick just to see how much of a improvement that was. Okay, so I checked the footage. It may not sound that impressive, but I did a 2.08 second increase on time. Or, uh, like, took that much of a time loss because I was 2, uh, 440. Or wait, no, wait. No, it was 2, 420. That's what it was. So... That, that's pretty that's pretty good actually like i don't think i'll get the record at all but i'm more confident on it now maybe i was playing the wrong vehicle this whole time maybe i'm actually just better now but my thing is is even though i want to practice this game i will just probably not touch it until video time comes around just so that i don't you know spend like time doing this and lower my pb even more till it's actually impossible to do it all in like one 10 minute video or so but with that i'm just gonna say thank you guys so much for watching this video like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one later